fall is definitely here, winter's coming, but in this episode you get to go on a ride along with Garrick as he goes to pick up a horse that needs to be rescued. Horses come out of quarantine and we go to the auction and rescue a lot of horses. You won't want to miss a single minute of Horse Shelter Heroes. This little guy and two of his uh, siblings, they're all three boys, um, came to us this past Friday. Um, it was more of an emergency um, uh, surrender. So we're very thankful that these three little guys are with us. They'll be available soon, as soon as they're fixed. They'll make amazing barn cats. And then we also got Precious in. Um, she w was found at Tractor Supply and um, we went and picked her up on Thursday. And so she has joined our family and she is ready for her new home. So if you want to adopt either of these little guys after they're available or precious, just email us at adoptions at horsehumane.org. All right, we're bringing the September auction horses out of quarantine. We're gonna get them evaluated and hopefully get them some, into some really awesome homes. I can't sleep through the night. I got you on my mind. The sky's always on fire like the 4th of July. To be by your side when I want to do. Oh, honey, I've got it bad and I'm addicted to. Lobo gained 55 pounds. I'm addicted to you. Four hundred and seventy pounds he now weighs. Side, I'll travel left behind. Wait in there and then a wave of just how good we have it. Fireflies and starry night. Got nothing on this magic mm -hmm. This is Honor. This is Sage's um, friends. They became buddies during quarantine. Yeah, she has got a little bit of a sinus. nose. Um, we gave her some meds last week. We're going to give her another round today. And she is blind in her left eye. But she seems to be settled in very well and she's super sweet. So. I can't sleep through the night I got you on my mind The sky's always on fire like This is Sage. She's a little two-year-old and she gained 95 pounds during quarantine. That's pretty awesome because she was pretty skinny when she came in. All right, y'all, we got all these guys. Um, got their quest warmer, um, got their updated weights done, and now we're gonna take them down into the main part of our facility. All right, morning everyone. Today we're going to get a surrender horse. We really don't know what we're getting into, but we're gonna go get the horse and take it back to the rescue so it can have its shots and wormer and anything it needs to be evaluated. I'd like for y'all to tag along with us today. It's gonna be a fun ride. Let's get the trailer hooked up. There's a whole lot that goes into catching horses and donkeys and anything that's surrendered. You never know what you're gonna get into. So, main thing is we have our safety chains on and our lights hooked up, everything working properly. I come over early this morning and saddle my horse up. Hopefully we won't need him, but just in case, it's always good to take another horse with you Makes them want to come to you, these horses that are alone. So we're going to go in here and get old Ronnie and see if we can get him in a trailer. Come on. Ronnie, are you ready to go to work this morning? You look excited. You look excited to be here. Yeah, good boy. So this is Ronnie. This is a horse I raised from Colt. He's Hancock bred top and bottom. He's a really nice cow horse. Uh, I use him to catch all kinds of things. There's not much me and Ronnie hadn't caught, so, but uh, 
Also, don't tell my daughter, but I give him to her so she doesn't know I'm using him today. He's kind of like the go-to horse. So hopefully he just goes along for a ride and just gets to hang out, but he loves to ride the trailer and see the world. He's been all over. So let's get him loaded, get on the road. Okay, Ronnie, let's go, buddy. Let's go get some day so we can get a new horse. Yeah, here we are at the dreaded diesel pump. Diesel's 3.59 a gallon. Things keep going up. Y'all keep sending them donations. We'll keep making this happen. But it does cost a lot of money. It never ends. But now we're getting pretty close to where we're going to find the horse. We're just kind of having to go by an address. And this happens a lot. You just get addresses and you have to go kind of figure it out on your own as you go. But that makes the uh, adventure part of it fun. So we're back in the hills and hollers of Tennessee here. We're real close to where the horse is supposed to be. We're down to a one lane road. So and what I normally do is I pull up and kind of assess the situation first and before I do anything, and kind of see what we've got to work with. Sometimes you'll have a catch pen. Sometimes you won't even have a fence. You just, you just never know. So. Just kind of go in and make an assessment first and see what would be your best plan of attack to get the horse. So, safest way, easiest way possible. Less stress, the better. So, but hopefully everything will be just as smooth as peanut butter. So, so it looks like we found our place finally out in the middle of nowhere. And it's never good when you see a sign that says "Warning, Security Dog." <laughs> Those usually aren't really friendly dogs. So, we'll hope for the best. Hopefully this is Oh, good. Even now, you bring the trailer right up here. Okay. Awesome. So we got to talk to the owner and the horse is right here. Doesn't look like she's very wild, which is a huge plus today. So we're gonna pull in, turn around, get our hands on her, see how she loads. You know, they say you can catch more flies with honey. Sometimes you can catch more horses with honey. A little feet feed. So we're heading back to the shelter now got the horse loaded went pretty well uh, she didn't want to load at all she, she hadn't been handled much and just a little bit wild but we got her loaded she had a scratch or two on her and I wrapped her up so we're gonna get her back and get her in a good stall and get her checked out doc will probably check her out tomorrow see whatever she needs they'll give her and hopefully get her on the man to get her calmed down where you can handle her and be around her and uh, She'll make somebody a nice horse one day. She sure will. She's really good shape. So looking forward to see how she turns out. So here we are, Horse Plus, home sweet home. Love the new gates. New gates up, new entrance. Boy, isn't that pretty. Pretty wrought iron gates with horses on them. Wow. All right. Oh, did you have fun? Hello. You had fun this morning? Oh, this was a rough one. Oh boy. She didn't want to load. She threw a fit, got down. Oh no. Scratched her legs up, but I vet wrapped her up. So I think she's going to be okay, but she's stressing really bad. 
she was a uh, hauled in as a two-year-old and had never been touched since she's 12. Oh man. So yeah, she's a handful. Does she remember how to lead? Barely. You want to just uh, back up to the... I'm going to, I'll lead her, okay. uh, but she stops a lot and runs backwards. So. Yeah. But she was just, she didn't want to load. And where, where it was, there were cattle panels everywhere. It was not a good way to load her. And I said, well, only thing we can do is run a rope and let her, and finally she, she'd give it up and she'd run and fall and you know how they do. And I didn't want her to get in the cattle panels. That was the big thing, was on both sides everywhere. I said, if she gets in that, we will have a mess. So I just kept her snubbed up and, and worked her in. But So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring her over and put her in the catch pen and uh, they'll evaluate her, check her out and go from there. So Garrick is going to pull around and we're going to unload this horse in our unloading area. Um, we were contacted to help this horse and it was kind of a, a difficult situation because there's kind of multiple people involved like a, a landowner and then the person that actually had the horse. Um, and we don't know all the details but we know that this horse needed help and we're very thankful that Garrick was able to go out um, and help get her and bring her here. And that's what happens when horses are not handled and you don't have a good place to load them, you know, but. Well, and that's where it comes back to the owners that had this horse a long time ago. Like if they would have trained her right. how to load, they would have trained her and how to she lead. she was a two-year-old, if she had just been handled mm -hmm. every day, just a little bit. Yep. And it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot. Training saves horses. And if you train a horse, to know how to be just a good basic citizen, they can, like it's their safety net. Wherever they end up, they, they have the knowledge that's needed. Um, but then, you know, horses like this, they get ran into trailers and taken to auctions and they go to the slaughter pipeline. And that's where horse owners be responsible, take the time, spend the resources to get the horse in education. At least she's here and I mean, she did injure herself, but that does happen. Um, and Doc will be out and she, she's, she's here and she's got a good opportunity here. All in all, it was a good day. We, uh, nobody got hurt. Horses made it to Horse Plus and this is the best place for her. So hopefully we'll find her a good home and uh, she'll make somebody a great horse. So this truck and trailer just showed up. They weren't on the schedule, but they've got a lot of horses in there. We're not sure what's happening. No, he called this morning to tell me when he was coming. Okay. This is Jukebox. He's surrendered. Just waiting on Doc to get here. Finally, he is here. Doc just finished. It was a super short um, visit today because um, he's also coming out tomorrow because we have auction intake. Um, today Watson was able to get his Coggins and then we had a mare come in that had cut her leg on the trailer and she needs some stitches in that so he was able to do that. And um, he checked Hickory's eyes. Um, Hickory is blind but we were just thought there might be a little something going on but he seems to be fine. So we're very happy that Doc was able to come out today and we'll see him again tomorrow. Where are we off to, guys? We are headed to the auction to rescue horses. Uh, Doc is here right now and he's working with the horses, but we have to hit the road because uh, we're actually leaving pretty late today. So we have Angela and Keith and Maddie. Maddie's gonna be a horse handler. Angela writes down all the information about the horses that we send back. Keith is gonna be a driver. 
And a horse handler. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> he he was sick and was in the hospital. We can't let him do too much, but I think he we'll might be able to do a little bit. <laughs> and uh, then Jason, of course, he'll be driving. So we're going to hit the road. It's Tuesday evening and we get to save lives tonight. And that is so super exciting to me. It's one of my favorite days of the month. And I have no idea yet what's there. There could be, you know, a bunch of skinny thoroughbreds from Florida. There could be some broken down walking horses from Tennessee here. There could be some uh, Amish draft horses. There could be a bunch of youngsters. There could be minis, ponies, donkeys. It's always a surprise what's at the auction, but what's not a surprise is that we're going to save as many as we can. Oh, I'm always glad to go to the auction. It's, I enjoy going. You never know what's going to be there, but you know, we'll always come home with a load of horses. There are a lot of cars here. There's usually a lot of cars, but this seems yeah, this seems big, bigger and busier than normal. We'd like to get some before the sale and then save as many as we can in the auction ring. Okay, let's go. It's kind of chilly tonight. Good. I think winters are coming. There's a couple of draft horses here and they're not, they normally the draft horses come to the auction when they start to get broken down. So it's a matter of time before finding out what the issue was that sent them here. And he's got a little bit of age to him. He has a hook right there, his groove goes all the way down. So he was probably worked pretty hard his whole life and now he got sent here. He's a little skinny, he could use some weight, but he's not skin and bones like some of the other horses here are. Just needs some TLC and get that weight back up there. There's a ton here tonight. A little buckskin, he has a little sass to him. I'm gonna go find Jason to see what Chris has for us tonight. So it looks like we're rescuing about 29 horses before the sale, and that's going to keep them from going through the ring and um, giving the kill buyer the opportunity to bid us up and waste donations. So ridding them for slaughter price, um, maybe even a little bit less for a lot of them, and there's a few smaller ones in there, so it'll even out and it's going to keep the horses safe and we're gonna know they're safe. So I took a picture of all of the numbers of the horses we just got before the auction so I can go through, look at every single one of them and maybe have an idea tomorrow to help our intake run a little bit smoother. That paint and this chestnut are ours. We have this itty nitty pony that I really am liking. <laughs> like, want to stand up to show size comparison? So, I'm 5'3". Yeah. This horse is below my hips. <laughs> he kind of tiny. He is very tiny. Hey buddy. He's pretty cute. So, auction just ended and we were able to rescue over 40 horses tonight. Um, we're so happy that people were able to fundraise and send us enough donations. So thank you for everyone that wanted to donate and is able to help us with rescuing these horses. We have to start looking around and trying to find all of the animals that we rescued. It's a lot to try to find over 40 horses. It's been an amazing auction rescue and we were able to rescue 47 precious lives tonight. But most of them uh, appear to be in, in decent health, I would yep. say. There's one though, it was given to us by a horse trader because the auction owner wouldn't actually let him bring it through the auction. It has a horrible eye injury. You can smell it from a good distance away. His, it's a very bad smell and I can smell it from here being a distance away from him because his eye is so infected and it's such an injury on his eye. And that's not a good sign that you can smell an infection from that far away. So we have him settled into a stall for tonight. He's in really critical condition. He is going to get looked at by Doc and Tawny will look at him in the morning to know what our next steps are going to be. It's one, the most critical one that we have tonight. So you guys are taking our little ones yes. home tonight and then you're going to bring them to the shelter tomorrow and you're, we're taking your big ones tomorrow and bringing them to your place. You're taking them to your place. Yes, because so we have a little trailer with okay. us tonight because we weren't expecting to get as many as we did. So tomorrow we'll be able to have our bigger trailer with us awesome. to Paul okay, ours. perfect. It's the little mini. How oh, there you are. You gonna put him in the truck. <laughs> uh, they're gonna go with Christian Farms tonight and then they're gonna be hauled to our rescue tomorrow. But we haul some of the horses that she rescued to our, our rescue. We've got 
three donkeys and two ponies one pony about the size of a lab very cute if y'all don't see it in the morning i don't know what happened to it it has been a long night i didn't get to sleep until about two o'clock this morning there's just so much fundraising involved with an auction rescue like this so uh when I got the news that there was over 40, I was like, oh my, I have to really fundraise. It was 37 degrees out there this morning. I know. <laughs> it's not gonna be pleasant per se. Yes, not at all. I'm gonna freeze. Fall burr. Yep. It's just gonna get worse though. This is, it's way better than it will be when it's really cold. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being a supporter on our Facebook page. We are headed to the auction right now. So I'm gonna go uh, check out the horses. I was fundraising all last night and I'm excited to see them. I've seen pictures. I know we have one that's very critical. And then everyone else here is gonna get the auction box and uh, meet me in there. We're getting the auction box and our halters and lead ropes. How do I pick this up like well? It's very awkward. <laughs> this horse is absolutely, this is very graphic. Um, I'm not sure how our editors are going to be able to show this, but it stinks. So this one, the auction wouldn't let him sell, which no. I think is huge. And like they've never been like, no, you can't sell and this just horse. just wanting to just give it to us yes. with no charge. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, with this horse, we're gonna, you know, have Doc look at it. We'll probably take x-rays. Yeah. I just know from experience, that's not. A, it's not a great outcome. Very critical. Yeah. I'm gonna have Maddie kind of walk around with me. We'll kind yeah. of explain some of the horses that um, we have here. Cause I don't, I don't know who all we ended up getting, yeah. but I'm so thankful we were able to get that one. Oh, and it's the young one. Yeah. It has a really nasty injury. You know, I, I sent the picture to Doc last night um, once I got it and he's like, we're definitely x-raying it. So there's a black Mustang <laughs> in here too. That is ours. So the Mustang has paperwork with it. Has it. A, it says it has a microchip. It has a microchip. It came from California. Yeah, it's a devil's garden one. So how it came all the way yeah. from California to here. to here. You never know. Is just a I mean, we, we need to be able to try to figure out the story. Yeah, well, it's that time. Overall, yeah. they look pretty good. That one has like a tumor coming out of its belly though, unless it laid in something and got stuck on its belly. So I just wanted to thank you so much for your donations. Uh, we're gonna take him back to the shelter. He's gonna get all the vet care he needs. He's such a big love. So just thank you so much for your donations. So last night, while we were trying to figure out how to get all these horses home, Christian Farms Rescue and Rehab was able to take our little ones home and they were gonna, they're gonna transport them to our shelter this morning. After talking with Tani guys, I think we're just going to go ahead and run whatever horses don't wanna be caught down. Some horses are so desensitized, they don't wanna be pushed. Those will lead, but if they wanna walk on their own, we'll let them walk on their own. Number 15, 18, it's coming through. Don't know a whole lot about them. Thanks. Number 15, um, so it's 18. Skinny. It looks like it may have some lameness in the front. Well, yeah, the, um, the front front legs. So then we just somewhat long hooves. And the, oh, this horse is so pretty. This we're doing our first ever live auction intake for our Facebook followers. Uh, Jason kind of had the idea last night when he was doing live feed, and um, so they get to see what the auction intake is before. So this horse looks young, has a halter, so it's probably halter trained, but. It doesn't want to be caught and it's it's nervous. This horse um, has paperwork with it that says it has a microchip. It also says it's from California. It has a health certificate from California, which is really interesting um, that a Mustang would end up from California back here and then be sold at auction. The slaughter pipeline is just a weird thing where a horse can be in one state one day and then a few days later it can be in a really bad situation in a whole nother state in the slaughter pipeline so a lot of times the auction tags fall off um, during the night 
And so it comes down to a process of elimination because we know we got this horse, it was in our group, and we bought all the horses in that group, but we have no number. What's the number on that one? Uh, it's an old injury, it probably got stuck in a fence and untreated, yeah. It's the kind of horse kill buyers want because he's, he's fat or she. She has got a lot of hind end issues. It could be neurological, it could be from an injury. She is foundered. Um, so x-rays, so we'll give her butless paste. Um, that will help with pain. And then also Sinchil to help her relax. Um, but it's severely foundered. It looks like both are, are pretty foundered. The next horse's leg is really rough. It's bad. The knee is actually bending in. Uh, both the knees are pretty rough, but oh, poor baby. This horse is really a, a beautiful horse, but what I noticed in the auction ring was it's severely sway back and it's underweight. So the Medicine Hat is a beautiful horse, definitely has a sway back. And a lot of people when they're at auctions, kind of the horse trader folks that bring horses like that, they'll put uh, double pads on a big saddle and hide that sway back and then sell the horse, you know, for a higher price because somebody's like, oh, wow, it's a beautiful Medicine Hat. And it's, uh, you know, they want it. And then after the auction, they come back in the pens and find out it has a sway back. Then the next auction, the horse is usually there again. Um, and then we'll end up in the slaughter pipeline. So we're just thankful we were able to get this horse. He's just beautiful. So we'll see what Doc says. But yeah, there's an issue with that. Oh, it's blind in its right eye. It's, it's missing its eyeball. This horse is foundered, uh, it looks like to me. Um, the hoof is actually rotating up and looks very sunken. Um, so the coffin bone is probably pretty close to coming out of the hoof. And I have seen that in person and it's absolutely horrendous. So we definitely need the x-rays on this horse and some pain management on board. I think this horse probably has a really bad hoof abscess going on. So hopefully it's just an abscess and we can get x-rays and see exactly what's going on. And hopefully this horse can be fixed. Yeah, so that one is definitely blind. Oh, they're so cute. A uh, big lick horse, 70% of its weight is on its, its hind end um, because it's, it's a very unnatural gait that they're forced to do. And they'll start them when they are um, 18 months old. They'll have people riding them and, and they, are, they are not developing right. And that's when you get these really messed up situations where um, you have a horse like this where it's it's hind end is really messed up. Jason, what's what's happening back oh, here? Oh, it's going great. This next horse, as you can see over here, if we walk on over here, this one is very nervous. We took both of his friends away and he's uh, wanting to get back to his friends. So he's going to be a little bit nervous until he's back with his friends, which were the two walkers. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Easy, easy, easy. How many horses have we done so far? Okay. 28. 28, awesome. 28. Yeah, I think he'd been an Amish. This horse has a freeze brand. It's a standard bread and uh, he's very sick right now. Um, Stoddy knows his back end is really broken down. It looks like DSLD. Um, and most likely it was an Amish cart horse. You can see here, uh, Forelock's been shaved down. That just makes it easier for the harness. They, would, they wouldn't race the horse in this condition, but a lot of times when they're done racing, they go on to be Amish cart horses. And that's probably what this one was. And when they get too used up, they usually enter the slaughter pipeline. So, and he has pin firing on his back uh, right leg. I don't think, I don't see it on the left, which are these little white dots. But yeah, his, his back legs are, pretty rough. Oh. Um, oh. I'm guessing was left on when he was little. He's got a dent there in his head uh, from a halter. Yeah. Poor baby. This horse um, had a halter on very tight at one point in his life. He has a scar there and an indention and his breathing is messed up. Um, every time he breathes, it's, it's very 
Oh, he is just struggling, but I, I really think it's from the from this old neglect that he had where somebody left a halter on him when he was just a baby. It's a challenge when we rescue this many horses to figure out who's gonna travel best together. And so Keith is just moving another horse out of the pen. We'll put it in a different pen to try to see if that horse gets along better um, with another horse. Um, so that's the key with uh, doing these big rescues is figuring out who works best with each other for transport. It's kind of has a nose like a fire hydrant this morning, but that's okay because inside this horse is one of the sweetest brains here. So every time I walk by, this horse is just staring at me like, hey, what about me? And when I went in there, he, uh, he didn't want to move if I just asked him to move. So I got the halter and he put his head down in the halter for me to put it on. Aww. And he's just a sweet, sweetheart. You want a cookie? We just rescued 47 horses last night and, and all of these horses will be transported back to Horse Plus Humane Society once we get them all um, set up. So if you're just joining us, a which we hit a people. thousand people, that's crazy. I'm gonna see if these two will let me catch them. They seem pretty sweet and chill in here, so. Yep, the ones that we can halt. There's some of them are halter broke, but they're so nervous when they're here that it's just easier to let them run through and get the process done that way than try to spend five or 10 minutes trying to catch them when we could get through three or four more horses in that five to 10 minutes. So this horse has string halt and um, it looks like it's from an injury. And so if you could just imagine as you're walking, you can't control your leg and every step you take, your leg literally flies up and hits your stomach. Um, and she can't control that. It's not like she's purposely stepping that way to be fancy or silly. Every step she takes, her tendons are just so messed up that she can't control where she, what happens to her foot. Yay, you what a pretty horse. You the one today. What a pretty little horse. <laughs> Dippy toes, standing. Like, this is as high as I can go, y'all. Put your hands short, up again. Jason, no, put, put your hands up I'm again. Like, I'm higher, six, higher. There you go. I'm six foot and this guy's above me, so he's over 72 inches. This is graphic. You're going, we're going to try to edit it out as much as possible, but we have this draft horse that has a tumor coming out of its eye socket. Its eyeball is completely gone. It's rough, so um, this is graphic. It looks like it's blinking. So, oh, it smells so bad. It's highly unlikely, but it is possible that this horse got an injury that got severely infected. And I think its eyeball is under there still. At first I thought that the, the eyeball was ruptured and it was a tumor, but it looks like it's more like the outside. We're gonna get him back to the shelter, get x-rays. Okay, if you call me back on the cell, I'll, let, I'll do a FaceTime with you. So that is our uh, vaccine medical vet supplier. And they called and said, hey, we watched your TikTok and we saw you rescued uh, 47 horses and we wanna help. And so she's gonna try to get clearance to donate the vaccines and wormer. Peyton was here last night with uh, Christian Farms Rescue and she purchased six horses and saved them, same as we did, and that is just so awesome. But So that's why we, uh, we got extra horses and this is pretty awesome because we saved, uh, between the two organizations, we rescued like 53 horses last night. I would just like to say a huge thank you to each and every person for being on this Facebook Live. We had steadily over a thousand people at one point and we'll definitely plan on doing this again in the future. We're gonna get them ready to load up. There's not cell service under the barn. Uh, it's, it was really spotty. So we're gonna be hopping off and we'll keep you updated and posted. Thanks so much for watching uh, and thank you for helping us get these horses. We have got everyone loaded up. It was four trailers en route to the shelter right now. Um, everyone's doing good. It's been a very busy morning. All right, we'll see you guys there. Yeah, we'll see you. Now that we're all on the road, I got to thinking, there's no way that we're gonna be able to get all these horses intaked, um, leaving the auction at noon. 
So I called Corey, our shelter foreman, and told him why don't we just um, do intake of the little guys that Peyton's bringing down. We'll do the actual intake uh, probably tomorrow of all these horses, but Doc will see them all today. And um, I just got a notification and um, yeah, that's what he's doing. Um, just curled up in the hay, sleeping like a cat. Uh, hopefully he'll be all energized when we get there because looks like he's taking a nice nap. Walls growing over on the inside. Garrett, it's not going like that. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, that's ugly. He's pretty severely foundered, and his, his hooves are growing crooked probably because he's foundered, and the whole wall is just crooked. And I was hoping it was just a temporary fold, but it looks like it's going to be a permanent thing. What's your first impression here? Well, from what I see, I think we can put a couple of stitches in there and help that out, but we'll get a closer look. Okay. This horse came off the trailer and she has injured her eye, scraped it on something. Um, Doc is examining it. She's gonna get all the help she needs. Um, so she's our first one to be seen. Take a chance to wait, stay light as a feather. Tell us what happened at the auction. Not really. <laughs> you I, don't, want, I don't want it videoed. Do you want me to tell him? No. I, I took a halter <laughs> off of a horse. The horse decided it was free and kind of just reared back with his head and hit me in the che uh, cheek and the nose and gave me a bloody nose. So, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> I'd say he's about six. Yeah, he's probably got two. Yes, yes, he does. I'm giving him vaccines and vital amines and a couple of shots of antibiotics. Today he's partial to the donkeys. Huh? It's subject to change. I'm usually partial to what's not trying to kill me at the moment. <laughs> So we don't gel donkeys when they first come in because donkeys get a lot of sicknesses from the auction. And when we get them in, if we go ahead and gel them, we seem to lose a lot more and they seem to get um, sicker. So if you go ahead and vaccinate them and give them antibiotics and everything and then gel them in two weeks, they seem to survive a lot better. If we bring her out and sedate her, uh, then we can get a good x-ray. Part of her bone in her orbit's gone. 
which would make it hard to. And there's a good chance it's cancer, so we're probably probably not going to do much with her. When we when we rescued her, that this was probably going to be the outcome. But we rescue horses regardless of their condition, even if they need the last act of kindness, because no horse deserves prolonged suffering. trying to go over with what we remember the most critical horses being at the auction because the sun is slipping and uh, we need to get Doc to be able to look at the most critical ones. We knew when we rescued this horse, I and mean, she could barely walk, but we rescue horses, even if that's, you know, ultimately the outcome is to relieve the suffering. And the x-ray was just taken and the coffin bone is almost through the hoof sole. And so we are gonna go ahead and relieve her suffering and give her the last act of kindness. I think maybe x-ray and see what's going on there, what's causing this chronic abscessing. There you go. Trying to dig out the abscess, we could see on the x-ray that there's a section fixed and come out. This section is fixed and come out. It looked like there could have been. As long as we have a coronary band here producing things, this will grow out. It's just gonna take like forever. It grows a quarter of an inch a month. So it takes about a year to grow through it. And I think that's why this horse has used that foot so much, it's almost more sore on the left front than it is this one. And once this ruptured, something's prop and relieved pressure, this foot's feeling better, so. Okay, second time. So there was this horse that had really club feet, and it's an old horse, and I'm like, all right, y'all, this was on Facebook Live. I'm like, so this horse liked to go dancing a lot when it was younger, it has club feet. <laughs> I heard you say that earlier, but I didn't put two and two together until right now. She's got a lot of, lot of severe arthritis in her knee. It's really causing some bony changes. It's gonna be painful to walk. Her arthritis is very severe and she's completely blind, so it's very confusing for her. We are going to have Doc sedate her and give her the last act of kindness. Um, you know, something her owner should have done a long time ago, but instead she was at auction and we had to step in those shoes and do the right thing for her. When I was um, 15, 16, our family was in a really bad horse accident and actually got rid of my horse because I was just too scared uh, after seeing that accident. And I got miniature horses. And miniature horses have a huge soft spot for me. And I like this little guy. It reminds me of Moncho Man. For our longtime followers, if you remember Moncho Man, this reminds me of Moncho Man. This is the one I sent you a photo of um, last night. And I definitely agree with your text, it needs an x-ray. Yeah, we want to get an x-ray of it, see if there's any bony involvement, see how much bony involvement there is, see if it's gotten down into the fetlock joint. And uh, if it's not, then we may think about doing some kind of little surgery and trimming it off. It's the whole bone. Wow. We've got bony involvement front. We can do front to back if you want to, but it looks like it goes from front to back there. It's not really in the joint, but that's pretty bad. Uh huh. That's all bone there yeah. and there. So it's bone. it's starting. There's some lumps in the joint. She's got a lot of issues. So we're just gonna give her lots of love, and uh, we are gonna ultimately have to give her the last act of kindness. They are stinking cute, but they don't actually stink. That's a nice thing. Is that draft horse? She really did stink, but these ones are just cute. <laughs> You're everyone's favorite person right now. 
That's awesome. I come bearing lots oh, of pizza. Oh, pizza. Two, three, four, five, Here, ten, you know what? I'll pizzas. just take this. One, Actually, per one a person. I'll just take two. Thank you. You can't be greedy. So this is really cool. If you watch our episodes, you know that we all get hungry and we like eating pizza during auction intake. And today we had a donor call up and says, hey, I would like to call in your auction rescue dinner lunch. And so uh, we gave her the order and she called it in for us. And here's our supper. So how nice is that, that one of our supporters wanted to help our team here and ordered pizza for us. So that's so special. I guess I work for, he for Pizza Hut now. Don't drop it. We will all be extremely upset with you if you drop it. How do you feel about the pizza, Doc? I feel, I, I feel a little low when I see pizza. So pizza. Um, somebody very sweet donated pizza and um, I stole the whole box. It's fine, don't tell anybody. Uh, uh. Come here, girl. <laughs> mm. You good? Mm -hmm. But the horses got here, we got them unloaded, looked at the most critical ones, and there were several that needed the last act of kindness. They were, some of them were in pretty bad shape. Uh, it'd be nice if people would take care of their own problems rather than dumping them on somebody else. So, part, of, part of what we do. Yeah, so basically, instead of working late into the night, we are gonna call it a day. Um, crickets are, are out chirping and it's it, night is coming. So the goal is to have you come out tomorrow and then Doc will re-go through all the horses and, and stuff that we're concerned about and do x-rays and such. Wasn't as busy of a day as you probably no. thought last night. But no, not after seeing the 47 horses were coming. And thanks to whoever bought the pizza, that sort of was, that was really that nice. That was nice. So I just like to thank everyone who donated for this auction rescue mission. We couldn't have done this without you. Watch our Facebook page, YouTube channel, TikTok for updates, and a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. This has been an incredibly special auction rescue. Uh, not only did we uh, rescue 47 precious lives, we did it all in memory and to honor the memory of Caden. Caden was just a precious little guy that um, was very near and dear to all of our hearts. And he would, like the last Big Lick show uh, protest, he was there yelling Big Lick, Big Lie, and breaks our heart that he's no longer with us. But we've done this auction in um, just memory of him. I know he would have been so excited that we were able to rescue so many Oh, absolutely. We are asking all of our Facebook followers right now on our Facebook page to go and suggest names that start with a C in memory of Caden. Um, just love your friends, family. Don't don't ever take any of your, your loved ones for granted. Now, we didn't get all the horses intake tonight, right? No, there was just way too many. We didn't even leave the auction till noon. Basically, I, I, I knew when we were driving back, I got on the phone with Corey and said, hey, I think we just need to focus on the most critical horses because we did have some very critical horses. We've said goodbye to some very sweet horses here tonight, but tomorrow we will be up here um, doing the intake on a, a slower level, I guess. We have most of the day to get here and then Doc will be here um, in the afternoon is the plan unless an emergency pops up and then we'll do the Coggins and x-rays and anything like that, um, but we'll go through the most of the horses, get all their vaccines, wormings, microchipping done. So it'll definitely speed up the process uh, for when he is here. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for your support of this uh, Cadence Auction Rescue and 47 Live Save. That's a huge number. Absolutely. All right, we have a crazy busy day. We got 47 in yesterday and we could only intake so many yesterday afternoon. So I was just talking, we were just talking about the penicillin shortage and um, it's really frustrating. I know the hospitals are probably frustrated too, but there are shortages that are impacting us. So today we've got a whole bunch of horses that we have to do intake. Doc is coming out later unless there's an emergency. And um, we're gonna we're gonna be busy, busy, busy. So rain's not gonna slow us down. So it's raining. Um, we are doing intake today. We did the most critical horses. Uh, yesterday, um, it was really sad. There were horses that desperately needed 
Humane Euthanasia and Doc took care of them. Now we're gonna go through and actually do the intake. We're gonna be doing it without Doc because he's busy this morning. Uh, so we're just gonna be looking at things that Doc needs to look at on these horses. And they're, they're uh, worming, vaccines, weight, uh, microchipping, all that stuff. And then Doc will be here to figure everything else out as far as more x-rays and stuff uh, this afternoon, hopefully, unless there's an emergency. You are too big. 1,360 pounds. He's, he's got to be 25 plus. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. His, his front leg needs to be looked at. It's not critical. It's his left front. Sometimes these blind horses, they can be well adjusted and totally fine like uh, Hickory. Is it, isn't it Hickory? Yeah. yeah. Like Hickory, he came from the auction. He was scared, but he's okay. He's, he's adjusted to it. So we just don't know with these blind horses, are they gonna be able to adjust to this? Or is this being blind too scary for them? So. I just absolutely love her. She is so sweet. Uh, from the time we met her at auction, she just wants to be with you. She's very willing. Uh, she's just a nice horse. So I'll push those two through and then we'll get it in the pen with that other one that's got messed up legs. If you're watching the live uh, assessment at the auction, she's she can't really control her hind legs. Um, so, <sighs> well, so far it's been going great. It's just not the normal intake, but that's okay. Fifteen, twenty, seven hundred pounds. No, nope, 25. This guy has a brand and um, I believe he's standard bread. So you can see when a brand is shaved down, you can see exactly what it is. So um, this is a website for the standard breads and I can look up a horse's um, brand. She was born in 99. She has a large star. She was born in Ohio. Current owner is in Indiana, apparently. Intake's been going really well. Uh, we've just been steadily going through the horses. We're making a pen full of them that Doc needs to look at. And those are Ones, I mean, we have twisted legs and horses that can't control their, their hind end and just a lot of issues in that pen. So when he's here, we'll be able to figure out what's going on with each one of those horses. So what could have happened is this horse could have gotten kicked and it's got blood around it pretty good. It could have a big bloody mass in there. 
So we're probably gonna have Doc um, do a little bit of surgery and remove yes. it because it's floating in there, whatever it is. I have a Band-Aid on it currently, but it's a good little cut. And <laughs> it started bleeding just now again and bled down the so, Band-Aid. <laughs> Good thing we got some gauze and stuff up here you can... Uh... I'm doctoring myself as we're trying to figure out horses that we need to doctor. Warmer electrolytes, probios. I have some penicillin, B12, and our rhino shot. Um, we currently ran out of vaccines because we weren't prepared for so many horses, so they're gonna get vaccines when they get their coggins drawn. Good deal. All right. Doc has arrived and now we are uh, getting ready to x-ray a, a foundered horse. The hoof is pretty bad, so it'll be interesting to see what the x-ray shows. It's just that it rotated so bad it started bone started curling instead of popping through the back. The x-ray shows that her hoof is extremely rotated and the bone is even uh, changing. While she's sedated from having her x-ray done, we are gonna give her the last act of kindness uh, to just to relieve her suffering. It's something her owner should have done a long time ago instead of taking her to an auction. Yep. There, that's where it huh? 20 something. We're gonna put him on a watch list and see how he is. If uh, for some reason he's doing okay, we'll reassess the situation, but um, the damage that's been done to him is pretty severe, and as he gets older, it's just gonna get worse. Eye problems, really hard time breathing. Here's, here's the dent from the halter in the heart and the bone. There's usually a lot less bony structure in here. It's almost clear because those are sinuses. And that I think a lot of that's just soft tissue obstructing it. When you first listen to him, you go, well, that dent's causing him to breathe like that. But he is not moving any air in the lungs. And the key to life is moving air in the lungs, and he's not doing that. But he's got something sort of like emphysema. He's not moving any lung, air in his lungs. That's the, that's the bad thing. There is nothing we're able to do for him, so he is gonna get the last act of kindness. Unfortunately, with her melanoma uh, tumors, they're, they're pretty bad. So we are gonna go ahead and give her the last act of kindness as well. A lot of these are going on our watch list that we're gonna keep an eye and figure out what is the best thing for them. He's gonna get a surgery on his back hip and um, Doc's looking at another horse and he's getting impatient. The horse with the string halt, we have done string halt surgeries before and usually the string halt comes back. Um, so we're putting her under kind of an evaluation uh, watch list right now. We thought you were gonna get surgery, but now you're, you're gonna get postponed until another day. Just looking at her, I think it, her hips are gone and, and probably her knees too. I think it's bad because she's a young mare. From the hips forward, she's a pretty, She's a beautiful animal, but the hips back in is just not working. A walking horse? Yeah. 80. 880. Where'd you get some blood? Come on, buddy. She's just, you know, string halt. There's just not any good cure for it. Yeah. We got some balloons here that's got some helium. So, uh, take it away, Taylor. Balloon. <laughs> we shall be standing alone. <laughs> See, even the don even the donkeys are are singing along with you. 
Horse Plus's mission. <laughs> we want to rescue the horses. <laughs> All of them that are going to the slaughter, Papa. We stop that. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't think I've got it. Hello, how are you doing? It definitely works for me. Doc is magical because it doesn't work for Doc. On our Facebook Live, yes, ma'am. There was somebody going off that we were stealing horses Correct. and working with horse thieves. I would probably steal a lot better quality horses if I was going to steal horses. Isn't that or right? Be associated with somebody that was going to steal horses. So, so recently we checked our messages and we had upwards towards 40, 40 plus messages of, of a woman accusing us of stealing a horse and come to find out it first was not her horse. Um, unfortunately, it was one that was stolen. The markings did not match of the horse that we got. Correct. Um, long story short, she was looking to make some money. So it wasn't, the possession of the horse could not even be proven. So that is one thing to always remember. You, we have to take everything with a grain of salt. Every, everything you see on the internet, unfortunately, is not a fact. Um, just because one person can talk louder than the others does not mean that their that their uh, voices is any more true. After we could we could document that that was not her horse, then it was we stole another horse. And um, unfortunately, these weren't her horses. She works with an organization that helps identify horses that are stolen, and she just wanted the rewards. I hate that that happened. Um, we we love every single person, um, you know, re regardless of regardless of what they have to say but so we did have to ban some people today and we apologize for any for any of that backlash that anybody else saw because we do our best um, they do come from auctions so unfortunately this horse cannot tell us his story he cannot tell us if he was stolen he cannot tell us but we do keep a good log on everything and we do our best to make sure that none of these horses if they are stolen that they they will go back to their owner we will we we promise that we do not we would not keep a horse from, from its owner. If you could prove that the horse was hers, we would have no problem. Okay. On the same day, we have had another lady who is a, who is married to one of the uh, well-known kill buyers in the area, checking our Facebook and seeing who has commented and who has donated and directly messaging them messages of false information talking about us as well. So I just want everyone to know, um, if you get a message from someone saying anything, feel free to message us. We will answer any question you have. But if somebody has, has a, anything negative to say, please message us, let us know. Um, and it turns out that it was the kill buyer's wife um, who has a hatred for us because we, we, uh, we get the horses that they would prefer or go to them. And if you, if you find us because you heard somebody talking bad about us, I mean, Form your own opinion, yeah, form please. Form your own opinion, watch our videos, see the work we do, and then make your own opinion from there. Correct. She's, she's so young, she's not trained. Uh, we got an x-ray of her right stifle and the growth plate of her femur is uh, not in good condition. And the kneecap, her kneecap, her patella is sort of out real thin groove they could go together maybe she got put in training too soon and it really finished messing it up a bad situation and the other one was bad the, worse. That, we x-rayed the good leg because she could put weight on it and stand the other leg it's just free floating and she likes to kick with it it's so painful she don't want anything touching it so oh, it's just one of those cases where somebody had a, a young horse didn't want to deal with the problems took it to the auction, and now we stepped in to be responsible and make the most humane, kind option for the horse. And it, it's it's a rough part of the job, but we feel it's very important because suffering should be relieved in a kind and humane way. So this is the Mustang that we got from the auction. After they've been through adoption events and they're not adopted, that gets branded on them. And I could look at the brand and instantly know how old it was because it's not actual numbers if you look at the brand. 2005 is what her brand says she is. So that's, that's a zero, that's a five. So it's just a little star thing. It's called a BLM key system. So 16. She came with this information. In August, she was in California. 
Uh, this is her veterinarian inspection there. And then that's her health records. She had a fall. She had a baby with her. <clears throat> There's a uh, limited sale of her. Like you can't actually probably take her to an auction. <laughs> and <clears throat> this is the agreement for transport. And then she was in Minnesota. So from Cal M California. M-O, is it Minnesota? Missouri? Missouri. So she went from California to Missouri and, and then, then from to Tennessee. then to Tennessee. And they paid a deposit of $450 to get her with her baby from California in August. And now she's been sold at an auction here. That's sad. So I don't know if they just wanted her baby or what the deal was. I'm giving her exceed because she's a Mustang and we need a long lasting antibiotic for coverage here. And we're gonna give her a shot of B12, hopefully, so she feels good and does not get sick and hip. But I'm sorry, baby. This girl's done a lot of traveling in a while. So in route, this horse had hurt her eye um, and Doc stitched her up and um, it's looking much better. It's still swollen. And we're gonna have Doc check her and see if uh, she might be able to go out into one of the pastures with a barn. I think it's looking great. Did a fantastic stitching job. Oh man, that does look good. And we gave her, do we give her exceed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we just got to get a little swelling out of there. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Keep that on. Keep that on. I think she'd be okay. And you got a pretty hat, baby. Yeah. yeah. We can easily keep an eye on her and she's a really sweet horse. All right. So we're a little more refreshed today. At least I am. Yesterday <laughs> I was a little exhausted, but um, it went really well today. Um, we got all of our um, horses done this morning that uh, Doc already saw, and we're gonna reevaluate them more in depth later, but they're out in the pasture enjoying themselves. And we had all the interesting cases for you this evening. And we've got a number of horses on the watch list, um, which we'll be reevaluating uh, as the weeks come on to I, see how yes. they're doing. Just do the best we can yeah. with them and wish and us luck. I know a lot of people wonder, um, you know, with those horses on the watch list, they're not in pain, they're not critical where they're they're suffering, like some of the ones we saw the first day. Yes. So it's more, we, we kind of doubt any improvement's gonna happen on some of them, but we're just gonna keep them comfortable and happy um, and reevaluate them at a later date because they're not in pain and suffering and rapidly decline yeah they're just sort of, they're just sort of static they're not going to get any better they're not going to get out of the middle most yeah. of them but so. anyway yeah we'll do the best we can with them but for 47 horses i think we've done good the last couple days and you've been here tuesday wednesday thursday, thursday. and you said you'll be here monday i'll be back monday Woo! we get in doc all the time so <laughs> hope you like watching him in the episodes because <laughs> Well, we know you do, so. <laughs> well, thanks, everyone. <laughs> Take care. I, uh, what happened? A horse kicked the swing gate when I was trying to push it forward, and uh, the gate came back and knocked me. <laughs> This horse will make somebody a wonderful kid's horse. It's like really cold in the morning, and when you start doing something, you start sweating. That makes sense. But it's perfect for doing this. They try to keep their feet down as far as possible, not to jack their hips up and put any strain on them. I really like this horse. He's He's had a lot of miles put on him, but he'd still be great for a kid's horse to lead around, a confidence builder horse. Jesse's adopters are here to pick him up, which is so exciting. He wants to come see you guys. If you guys remember, Jesse was born here at our organization back in January. And um, he's been through quite a bit. He's gotten sick and just different things. Um, a part of just being here, that's just part of the rescue world. but. 
he finally has a little girl that is going to love him forever and it's just the cutest thing ever. She's excited to take him home with her. So um, we're going to get him loaded up. We're going to miss him a lot because he's been here for a long time and he was born here and everything. But um, we're excited that he has a new amazing family that's going to love him forever. <laughs> and I think he's ready to go. So let's go load him up. Are you excited to go to your new home? <laughs> uh, yeah? That was a yes. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> All right, while well, Jesse's adopters were here, uh, we realized they have a flat tire, and Garrett is here, so he's gonna help out, and we're gonna get this tire changed. We went from shoeing horses to shoeing trailers. We'll put some new shoes on this one. I'm more of, I'm just coaching and-, and Moral support. Moral support, <laughs> yeah. I'm like the cheerleader for the tire changing. At least he has the right tools to do the job. That's the most important thing. We could do horse trailer racing. <laughs> <laughs> no horses in there, but just trailer you know, racing. They already have that on the figure eight track. It's just with trailers. <laughs> well, it ain't really the speed. It's the quality of work we do. We like to make sure there's plenty on that holding. I first found out about Horse Plus, I think it was from YouTube, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, was re I was looking up rescues because I've been wanting to ad adopt and they, they popped up on YouTube and around the same time that I found them, their farrier uh, started to become on to a camera more often. He's the spotlight of the show, I feel like, sometimes. <laughs> he's amazing. He's funny. He's the best fairy I've ever seen. He can do shoes, barefoot, just awesome. Looks like you got a big time fan. How's that make you feel? Hey, it's good to be loved. I love your boots. Can you say thank you? They came from Tractor Supplies. What size are those? Can I have those boots? Let her settle in for a little while and okay. we'll have her see my dog and all that. So. Alrighty. Thank all right. you. Thank you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. This is Lady. She just came here. She is completely blind, so we're going to let her settle in for uh, the weekend and then have her seen by Doc next week to see if there's anything that we can do for her eyes. And um, she seems to be a super sweet mare, so we're very happy to have her here.